Hello everybody, in this video, we're going to go over some tricks that can make your life a lot easier. Alright, let's get going. Alright, so as you start to code in a real environment like Replit or Visual Studio Code, you may feel like you're typing all the time. Well, good news, there are a lot of shortcuts that you can use, and I'm going to show you the most common ones that my students use right now. All of these shortcuts I'm about to show you are featured on the Replit homepage. Link is in the description below. So the first one I'm going to show you is copy and paste. This one usually works inside of Windows and Mac as well. You select what you're going to copy, you type Control C, you type Control V, and that does a copy and paste. Here I am doing it one more time. Copy the whole thing, Control C, Control V, pasting it, and there you go. So this code is basically printing out the variables. So now let's say I want to find out if I've used a particular word. I'll use the find. So I'll hit Control F. I'm looking for here's, so I type that into a window that pops up, and you see it highlights right here. So now let's say I want to go beyond finding something, and I want to replace all of them. So to do that, I'll do the replace. This is a control H. In this example, I'm trying to replace more. So in this top field, I type more. And I want to replace more with much more. So I write that in the bottom field. I'll click replace all, and it becomes much more. If you're looking to replace just a variable, you click on the variable, you hit F2, it will allow you to rename the variable. So let's say I want to rename noun1 to super noun1, and it will replace all the variables that were named noun1 with super noun1, but it won't replace it anywhere else. So if you had, for instance, noun1 inside of a quotation marks inside of a print, it would not have replaced that one. The next ones I'm going to show you are undo and redo. So here I'm typing some stuff, and I accidentally deleted these two lines. If I wanted to undo that change, I'll hit Control Z. And if I want to redo that change, I'll hit Control Y. Control Y is basically the undo of the undo. In Replit, I also have history. So if I go to the bottom and click on the history, I can go back to the history of this file. And this can be really useful, for example, if you're trying to prove to the teacher that you finished your quiz on time. All right, so here are some more tricks. I'm going to make an if, and as you know, when I make an if, I need to indent. I need to indent the stuff that's inside the if. So you'll want to be sure that that default indentation is 4. The way I'm going to check that is I'm going to go into settings, look at the indent size, and that, again, should be 4. Sometimes the default is 2, but 4 is generally considered more readable. If for some reason you can't get to that settings, hit Control K, and you can type settings, and it brings you to settings. Next, I just want to show something that some students will screw up sometimes. The best way to indent is to use a tab, not to use spaces. So you don't want to type four spaces. And really, the best way to indent is to backspace all the way to the line before, type Enter, and let Replit pick the correct indentation for you. But definitely don't use four spaces. Now, let's say I wanted to put all of this inside the if, so I need to indent it all. You can select everything and tab it in. And if I want to unindent, I shift tab. So rather than doing them all at once, you can do them many at a time. So again, tab and shift tab. Finally, sometimes I'm going to want to test certain parts of my code, which means I want to comment out a lot of my code. There is a fast way to do this, and that is to select all of the lines, click control slash, and that comments all of the lines at once. I can uncomment them all by selecting all the lines and again, hitting control slash. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.